Welcome to Silver Sneakers Express Yoga, and I'm your Express Flex Instructor, Jesse Sawyer, nationally recognized inclusive fitness trainer, Silver Sneak Flex Instructor, and you can find out more about me, visit my website at www.jessysawyer.com. Today, during this Express edition, I'm going to take you through some seated positions, and then I'm going to take you through some standing positions as well. This exercise is meant for you, the individual that can do the ambulation, those individuals that might have an injury or disability that need to be in a seated position. You have the choice, seated, standing, combination of both. It's gonna help with pain management. It's going to help with flexibility. It's going to help with cognitive state of mind as well. And then it's gonna help with that core, that balance, stretching, endurance, you name it all. But more importantly, let's manage that stress together as we take this express yoga class with me. Now, before we get started, a few things, lightheadedness, pain, dizziness, discomfort, or fatigue, hit the pause, come back a little bit later. The other thing is you want to subscribe to this channel so you get all these updated versions. Please like, please comment, please share, and then again, please subscribe. Perceived exertion, it's a one through three as we are in this seated position to begin. And it might go to a 10 in that perceived exertion as we do that standing position. But let's get to the warm up. I'm gonna just put those hands down to the side and we wanna kinda of just shrug on up. So I'm keeping those arms lengthened and I'm just trying to take that glenhumeral joint and I'm trying to touch the ears. And let's do four more just like this. One, two, three, and four. I'm gonna lift my arms up in the front, that's the anterior motion, and I'm just gonna pull back. Gonna come forward with them, drop them back down. Come straight on up, pull them back, and as you can see, I can, I'm rotating into a neutral position with my hands as I come up. So they're coming up in the pronated, and then the thumbs are coming back, and I'm retracting the scapula. Let's do two more, just like this. There's one, and there's two. And then rest of all the way down. Let's do a cervical rotation to the left, back to the front, cervical rotation to the right, back to the front, and let's do a cervical side bend up to the front and then to that right. Excellent job. Now let's get that hip stretched out. I'm going to lift up that left leg. I'm going to hold it with my left arm. I can do both as well. I want to be nice and tall. And I'm going to roll that ankle. And then I'm going to do see. Now you can do this in the standing position as well. If you were doing this in the standing position, I'll quick show you from this position, you would just take the leg up, right? Roll it both directions and then just like that. And you're holding onto that chair as you do it. So you have those options as we do this exercise routine together. And there you go, that's your warm up. So this is the express edition. So we need to express a little faster as we go. So hopefully you're enjoying this position. Let's go to the pigeon next. So in order to get to that pigeon, I'm going to put my right foot right here and then I'm going to lean forward and put pressure on it now. This, for some of you, might just stretch that lower back, that psoas muscle through here. And if you wanna get a greater engagement, you're gonna just lift up, push it right here. Nice inhalation and then nice exhalation, just like this. Hold this position for a little bit, pushing down on that leg, on that hip, and just be careful as you inhale, exhale. Nice inhale up, and then exhale and push down. Excellent job. Now I'm going to lift up. I'm going to take that leg down. And again, you can take that left leg and put it up against that right and lean in. And again, you're gonna get more probably of a back stretch than you are that hip stretch. Now, as soon as you lift that leg up and put it on the knee and behind the knee, more in that quad, nice inhalation, nice exhalation. Nice good hip stretch before we get started. We're in this pigeon pose in the seated position and then a nice inhalation again and then your nice exhalation as you press down and hold down in this position. Awesome job, looking great. 
the express edition it's here and we're going to take that down and we're going to go flow right in to a good morning position take that right over left come to that center lift them up and then bend forward hold that position there sit on back i'll show you from the side spread those arms down drop them down come on up this time left over right into that center lean forward lift them up and then bend now i'm close enough to that wall that i can actually hold on to that wall and get a better stretch so you can place yourself close to a wall you can place yourself close to a chair and you can do the exact same position right here now holding on to that wall i can get clearly a better stretch on my back, my upper back, my mid back, and my lower back. Now, if we were gonna do this from the chair position, we would just walk back. This chair's a little low. We actually kinda want a higher chair, but I was just gonna bend, push my hips back, keep my head above my heart, and I am trying to stretch not only my arms out, but I am also stretching my lower back out. Um, my shoulders, my mid back, my upper back, all that is being stretched out at this current time. Now, if you are in that seated position, you're just going to repeat those motions of arms up, left over right, right over left, lean forward, lift and bend a little farther, holding onto a wall if you need to, or having a chair in front of you as well and doing it to get a lower lumbar or a greater lower lumbar stretch. Awesome work there. The next motion we're gonna to go to is we're gonna to go to an airplane in a seated position, but then I'm going to take majority of our exercises into that standing position. So your airplane is leaning forward, take those arms back and hold it. I'll show you from that side position, nice inhalation here, and then it's a nice exhalation here. So you go from your airplane in this position, right, to your lateral flexion. Back to the front, rest it down, up, side, back, and rest it down. Now I'm going to demonstrate all that from that standing position, so I will move this chair out of the way, and here we go as I turn myself to the right, so I'm facing to the right. We'll go into that airplane first. I'm going to take both arms back, and then I'm going to step and be on the balls of the feet on that left side. Facing right, left leg is back. Holding that right leg nice and firm. Nice breathe, nice inhalation, come on up. There you go. And now I'm gonna do it at the same time. Hold that position, lean forward a little bit more, and then I'm going to lift that leg up, drop it, and work on that balance. Now, if you need to hold on to a console table or you need that chair in front of you, place it accordingly as you go into your airplane. Now I'll switch, chairs right here. I'll show you exactly what I meant by that. Now I'm facing my left side. My right leg is going to go back as I take them both. Nice inhalation and then nice exhalation. Hold in this position. Toe is down, and now I wanna lean forward and lift, and dorsi and plantar flex that foot, and if you need to hold on to do that, go ahead. If you can keep the right arm back with the right leg, awesome. If you can keep them both back and hold, that's even greater yet, and hold. Foot is off, if foot needs to be down, you could be put the foot down that right side, hold, breathe, Come on up, I'm back to that center. Rest them down, our lateral flexion now, nice inhalation and nice exhalation. And I'll move back a little bit so you can see full screen of me. So nice inhalation, nice exhalation.
into the flow. Lift. Excellent. Work the foot. Come on back. Step on back. Lift. Wiggle the foot. Step on back. Awesome job. Into the tree pose. Hold the position. Drop it down. If you need to be down here, it's okay. We're in that seat. And then I'm coming back. Again, nice inhalation. Nice exhalation. Bring it in. Switching sides, I'm gonna walk back again so that you can see full view of me. Nice inhalation. Nice exhalation. Excellent job. Stepping down, gonna move that chair out of the way over to here, and then I'm going to go into some chair positions and some moon flowers. So in order to get that chair position, nice inhalation, nice exhalation. So really similar to your Tai Chi, hold that position. There you go. And I'm going to come up into a cactus position and into a moon flower. So that 10 and 2. Drop down. Face that left side. Hold it. Come back to that center. Chair position. Right side moon flower. Go into the cactus. 10 and 2. Back to the front, into the chair position. And then back to that left side. Moon flower. Back to the center. Chair position. Now, if you need that chair, you can always have that chair that's close and actually lean down, hold on to it, and get yourself into the moon flower without hitting. Watch what I do here. And I have that chair again for the moon flower position, 10 and 2, and I'm holding on to it, or if I need to hold on with both, but again, I'm in more of that sumo, putting a little more pressure on the glute meads, that's right out through here, and the external part of those legs, and then back to that center, rest it down. Moving that chair, and right into that warrior pose that we're going to go. Right foot stays there, we're going to go into that L stance, just like we would in our Tai Chi. And then we're just going to put those arms out just like this. There you go. Nice, good balance. Moving back and forth. I have that wall that's stopping me, but I'm just going to use that wall to my advantage and hold this position right here. There you go. Nice warrior pose. One direction. Come back up. Push. and go to your other direction. And you can hold, there you go. Push, use that wall. Nice good hold. Push again, go to your left. I'm holding onto that wall now, and now I'm just leaning down and lifting up. There you go. Excellent job. Again, if you have a wall, it's nice because you can run into that wall. Use that as your boundary and then come on up. Come to that front. Left leg will stay. Right leg, come empty out. Drive it forward so that you can shift that weight into your warrior. Hold that nice good position, nice and strong. 
and then move and shift that body. There you go. Hold in there. Nice inhalation, exhalation. Come back to that center. There you go. Forward, forward. Shifting the weight and lean. Hand can go down onto that knee, hold that position. And now you can actually shift and get into a more of a warrior. Hold on here if you need to, work on that balance. Also becomes like a Kozak if you're familiar with exercise terms. And then back to the center, shift more towards that right and now lean and stretch out where you're reaching up. There you go, nothing to hold on to here. So you're kind of, you know, at the mercy of your balance and then back, slide back, bring it back. Whew. Excellent job. That's your yoga flow. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And we got a lot in today, so nice inhalation. Nice exhalation. Nice inhale. Nice exhale. Drop those arms down. And we'll do a little sink with the chi. Arms come up shoulder height, pushing through. And if you like some of these moves that I'm doing towards the end or even throughout that don't look familiar to yoga, well then you should come and follow me, subscribe, because you can check out my Solar Sneakers Energy Chi class that airs on a weekly basis. And I am doing all 14 formats for you at home. So join me for yoga, join me for Energy Chi, and subscribe and get much more. Go home, peace, my friends.